Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial video where we are making a game for the original Game Boy. Uh, for this part, we just need to make like a title screen and a game over screen. And you can use any graphic editing software. You could even use Piscal that we've used in our previous uh, activities and, and tutorials and whatever. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to use Photoshop so I can type words in it and I don't have to try to create them using the drawing tools. So I'll go up here to new and for the size of this the uh, background image size for the Game Boy is 160 pixels wide by 144 tall. So whether you're using GIMP or paint.net or whatever or Photoshop just make sure you have your units of measurement however that looks on yours. Uh, have it set to pixels and then make it be 160 wide by 144 tall. I am leaving mine at 72 pixels per inch and RGB color 8-bit with a white background. Once that's ready, then I'm going to click New and Create New. And I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. And we need to still use these same colors and Control c and then go in here to my color selector and go control V. Then I can use my paint bucket tool and fill that in. And again, depending what program you're using, you may need to fill it with a rectangle that has a color or or however you need to do that. This is just how it works with Photoshop. Uh, once I have that done, then I'm going to create a new layer. And if your program does not allow you to have layers, it's not a big deal. You could just type it over the top uh, as long as you have that background done first. All right, and now I will go to my type tool and I'll use this centered text here. And for the color of this, I want to go with the light color. So I'm going to go E0F, 8. CF and I'll click OK. It says Lorem Ipsum on there, but I'm going to call this game Pre Historio. All right, and then maybe make this a little bit larger on the screen here. And if I select this text and I'm using Photoshop, I can uh, kind of warp my text a little bit. So I might switch with a, maybe an arch, for example. That to 10. That looks pretty good. Down about right here or so. And then I want to make another new layer or just type in another area. And this one I will type in press start. And for this type, I used a, an Adobe font called Clobber in Time. And for this one, I'm going to... One called low res, which I think is decent. I might try this low res regular and maybe make it all caps. That's a little hard to read in there, so I can always resize that. And because this is a pixel editing program, or I should say a raster editing program where everything's made up of pixels, when you zoom in, it looks kind of bad. But if I zoom to where it is 100%, you know, you can see that it actually looks pretty clean in there. All right, so that looks pretty good for that part. Uh, if you do happen to have a Photoshop or whatever, where there's some custom shapes, dinosaurs in there, 
So if you find one that you like, you can do something with that. So I might take this shape here and I'm gonna draw this in there like that and then remove the outline and fill the stroke with that same color. And we have a nice looking prehistoriographic there. Uh, once that's done, then I'll just go file and save as. And then this was on our desktop. And I think we put this in prehistorio assets. And then I'll call this one prehistorio intro project because I have my layers here just in case I want to make use to those later. Click OK. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go file, save a copy. And make sure I'm still in the correct folder. Uh, but this one, I'm going to switch it to a PNG file and save it in there like that. Kind of up to you if you want it to be the smallest file size or largest. All right, and then the other thing that I think would be cool to do would be maybe switch this text up here to game over. And then I can go file, save as, and then I'll call this one prehistorio game over project. And then I'll go file, save a copy, select a PN, and click save. All right, so now if I look over here with my projects here, I should have everything in there on my two Photoshops and everything else that I've created up to this point. All right, and there it is. That's our intro screen and our game over screen. Now we are ready to move on to actually creating the game. We'll catch you on the next tutorial video. Make sure for that one that you have GB Studio downloaded and installed.